Okay, uh, this is Transformers Movie 1, uh, Deluxe Class, Stealth, Bumblebee, right here. I got two of them. Um, this is an old figure. Uh, the only reason I'm doing a review on him is because uh, the movie figures are on clearance practically everywhere here in Manila. Toys R Us, Toy Kingdom, Rusan's, Kid Station, Toy Town, every single toy retailer has put all the movie clear uh, has put all the remaining um, uh, movie one figures on clearance for obvious reasons because uh, in a couple of months we'll be having new a new set of figures uh, for the movie line. Um, particularly on clearance are the leader class figures Optimus Prime, Premium Series Optimus Prime, uh, Megatron, Premium Series Megatron, um, uh, Brawl, uh, and a few deluxe, uh, a lot of deluxe figures such as um, Stealth Bumblebee. If you're lucky, um, some of the premium uh, the premium series are also on sale if there's still any left like jazz uh, barricade bumblebee the regular camaro concept bumblebee is on clearance uh but you very difficult to find them what's what's common out there that's on clearance for the deluxe figures are uh overcast um <clears throat> our, uh uh who's that repaint of dropkick uh, I forget the red the red pickup truck, uh, stockade, uh, 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 bumblebees repaint cliff jumper, landmine, all, all the all spark uh, deluxe figures are are on clearance for six dollars. Leader uh, the leader classes are on clearance for twenty dollars. So if if you haven't if you if you haven't been gone shopping if you haven't gone shopping. Uh, for Transformers for the past few weeks, I suggest you go out to the toy stores and just check out whatever's on sale and, you know, pick up stuff that you don't have. Now, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, the reason I picked up another Bumblebee was because I really love the colors on the Stealth Bumblebee. Um, it, it's a Camaro concept alt mode and I, I wanted to have uh, the alt mode displayed with a robot mode. Um, if I get another one of these, I would, but it's, it's just so hard to find, especially at six dollars. You know, out here in Manila, a lot of the collectors wait for the first the morning shipment of uh, of these toys at Toys R Us or at Toy Kingdom. Once the 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 box hasn't even been opened yet, and people have been lining up to get it, because a lot of the collectors weren't able to get to get all the deluxe figures. And perhaps uh, a lot of the premium series, the leader class figures, uh, uh, a, a year and a half ago, and now that the price has gone down severely, it's a huge 66% discount. So, you know, how can you lose, right? For six dollars, you get another deluxe figure. So, enough about me. The sale. This is just to talk about this figure. Um, here he is in a size comparison with. Uh, the Camaro concept Bumblebee. This is not the premium series, obviously. The head, the head is the original head. Uh, the premium series will have this head. Uh, here he is with the crappiest movie Bumblebee there is. The Legends class uh, '70s Camaro and this deluxe class '70s Camaro. Not so bad, but I personally like the uh, the two o the two o eight Camaro uh, concept. Uh, this, just to briefly talk about this figure, it's just a um, a lot of it is just reversed uh, from from the original paint scheme, and the the idea was that he needed to camouflage himself. So Michaela, you know, went out and tricked him out, and pimped Bumblebee into black and yellow, easier for him to sneak up on Decepticons. Yeah, right. Uh, it's just a good excuse to have him repainted in black and yellow, which is very nice. Um, yeah, okay, let's talk about the figure first. Uh, this figure, the mold, can I just get rid of the Legends class first? And the original Deluxe class, 70s Camaro. Okay. Um, a lot of reviewers have already done a lot of reviews on, on this figure, so I'm not going to talk too much about him. Um, 
you see his gun can become a, a, a rifle, a, a, a blaster, or a blade. Uh, this figure is very articulate. I mean, ball joints everywhere. Uh, ball joints here, 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 here. Uh, a lot of joints on the leg, primarily because of the transformation. Um, and he's got a, a waist, a ball joint, and head ball joint. The only problem I have with his articulation is that um, a lot of the parts get in the way. For instance, the uh, the door, uh, the, uh, I think this is the roof. It, it does get in the way of posability because it just sticks out. Um, I wish they would have folded it some more, but uh, I don't know. The Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Bumblebee, from the pictures I've seen, has not changed the engineering on this figure. Uh, it's just a direct... I don't think it's even repainted. It's just been... The, the head's just been changed, and the weapon's been changed. The weapon, I don't think, will have a blade. I think it'll just fire a missile. That's it. Everything's the same. It's a few paint retouches here and there. It's a better head mode, but everything else is the same. So you, I think it's fair. Uh, I think it's um, fair to say that we'll probably get the same amount of kibble, same amount of of excess ex ex uh, uh, parts that are, I don't know, that are just sticking out and here and there. So you'll probably get more of that. I'm not even sure I'm going to pick that up, but uh, if uh, I can get a good deal for it, or maybe get it on pre-release at a good price before Hasbro increases their prices maybe I will together with Soundwave but uh, as of this moment I'm, I'm happy with all the bumblebees I have um, going back to this figure um, you know if, if you can get if you already have him I mean it, it's not it's not too horrible to pick up another guy I mean you can't lose with this guy's alt mode I just transformed him once and put him back in alt mode but I wasn't going to transform him and keep him in the package though, but uh, I realized, you know, I bought him so that I could display him with, with the, the, the bot mode in, in alt mode, so better take him out, right? And uh, what's interesting about this figure is it, it does look like the uh, Elite Guard Bumblebee of the animated line, and, and I, think, I think that's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, perhaps if Bumblebee went on Covert Ops, uh, he would be like this, uh, not so much as Stealth Bumblebee, because you'd still see him. I mean, who puts yellow stripes on a Stealth mode, right? So, it's just a, a lame excuse. I should have just called this a Covert Ops Bumblebee. Or, well, Stealth is, I think Stealth is a lot easier and a lot more believable. So, uh, everything's the same about this figure. Um, uh, with the original in terms of articulation, posability, uh, features. Um, I, I'll just mention a lot of the things I like about this figure, which I don't know, and I, uh, a lot of the other reviews have shown. I like the weapon. I really like the weapon that, it, that it, it gets incorporated in the transformation. I like the fact that this guy has the best um, automorph with the legs, just like Ironhide. But in the deluxe class, he has the best automorph, which we'll see in my part two of this video when I transform. I apologize for part two. I just need to say a lot about this figure. Um, I like the black paint, that it's, it's, it's a molded paint. Uh, it's paint. It's original paint of the molded, molded plastic. It's not like a, a slap-on black. Um, I think that's great. The yellow. Um, one big bit of advice: if you're picking him up, and you know, if you decide to to pick him up, make sure that you get a figure that has um, a good quality uh, paint paint application on on the hood and in the boot and everywhere else. Just make sure there are no smudges and all this and that. Um, again, I said this, this is a very good figure. Uh, great posability and playability. If you see him, you haven't gotten him, I say pick him up. There's, you can't have too many bumblebees, right? Uh, if you already have him, I think it, it would be a great idea to get another one. Just display him in alt mode, just like mine. So we'll talk more about him in part two. Thanks for watching.